Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have Glory to God, 266, Joy to the World. I selected Joy to the World because it, it, it has uh, a meaning that's outside of the Christmas season. In fact, the text by Isaac Watts was not even written for Christmas. So uh, it's great to know that there's another hymn tune set with that same text in the Glory to God hymnal. And that is number 266, Joy to the World, to the tune of Richmond. And Richmond was composed by Thomas Hawise, H-A-W-E-I-S, and it appeared in Carmina Cristo, or Hymns to the Savior, designed for the use and comfort of those who worship the land that was slain. So let me say that again, designed for the use and comfort of those who worship the lamb that was slain. So it was in that collection, Joy to the World, that we're going to worship the lamb that was slain. A great meaning and different than possibly what we might think of at Christmas time. So today I'm going to take some solo stops of the organ that are more uh, simple, I wouldn't say generic, but simple and interesting. So the first one we're going to do is the melange of the flute eight and the gems horn eight. So we'll do that for the first verse. Right? For the second verse, one of the solo stops that really works well for singing is the four foot flute octave. No eight has a clarity to it that encourages those even though it's an octave above where people are singing, it encourages that uh, clarity, right? And the third verse, I'd like to do just a simple bassoon sound. Beautiful sound on this organ. And then the trumpet sound to end, because he rules the world with truth and grace. It may feel a little awkward because we're used to the uh, joy to the world tune, uh, but either way, uh, this is a great alternative and reminds us that that text, of course, is timeless in my opinion, but it also stretches beyond the Christmas season. So here is Joy to the World to the tune of Richmond. Joy to the earth, the sea. 
So Samuel Webb Jr. adapted this tune, and that's how it was, and it was then named. So he adapted it in 1808, which it's possible that he may have come up with this F7 harmony, which is really surprising. Let's listen to that. Beautiful, as it leads very nicely into that B flat triad. Uh, but um, at the same time, he named it for his friend Lee Richmond, rector of Turvey, Bedfordshire, um, England. So that's why it's also, uh, this is where we get the idea of the tune name Richmond. Uh, so thank you very much for listening to Hymn of the Week.